you mentioned when you wrote Article 50, you didn't imagine Britain would ever, the United Kingdom would ever be triggering it, but you could imagine, I think you suggested that some other countries might have done. What, what sort of countries did you think might trigger Article 50 at some point? Uh, well, at the time we were uh, thinking about right-wing regimes. There had been a, an episode in Austria, and of course we now have, have, uh, yes. have one or two right-wing regimes in Eastern Europe. And if they, uh, a country in the European Union was clearly in breach of the values of the European Union, open society, democracy, uh, rule of law, freedom of, of speech, uh, and the EU decided to withdraw its rights, as it can do under the treaty, withdraw its voting oh, rights see. until it improves. I imagine that uh, the, the right-wing leader uh, might, uh, in uh, a cross at being so insulted by the Union, might want to walk out. And it seemed to me there should be a... Uh, uh, we're back in 2002 now, but... Yes. It seemed to me that it would be quite a good idea to have an orderly procedure for withdrawal. In, in order to sort of have a, have a, not amicable necessarily, but, but a neat divorce. That's quite remarkable, actually, uh, because when you say right wing, you, you, you mean far right, of course. I mean far right, yes, yes so, I do. So the only yes, circumstances in which the author of Article 50 thought that Article 50 would ever be triggered would be if a far right government wanted it to be. <laughs> that, that was my view. But, it's, you know, the game isn't over yet. No, I appreciate uh, that, but I'm, I'm, I'm just going to allow myself to reel briefly from, from that simple <laughs> observation.